Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. Just coming off of watching uh, the first half of the Sevilla Barca game. That game was sick. Um, here are the icons that none of you guys can afford, including myself. So we are all the same people. Yay. Um, hope you guys are well today. We're going to be doing a look in depth at the market. And kind of just, well, when are we not doing that, right? But looking at a lot of different things, I'm going to tell you guys uh, some things that I have bought recently. And all that kind of stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video today, drop me a thumbs up. So, uh, there's a lot of madness going on in the market right now. Something that's really funny is like this card right here. I bought, I think, I've already sold five this morning. Last night before I went to sleep, I just saw literally so many of him on the market for 30,000 coins. And he's always been 34, 35, 36. Even on rewards days, I sold this guy at 38. So, I just cleared it last night. I was like, yo, I'm just going to buy all of this, man. So, I bought all of him. Um, and so that's what we're doing. And then we have some lazy ones to watch that are actually really annoying me because I have a lot of cards that I need to sell. Um, and I can't really sell them right now. I've started to buy some OTWs. Uh, that's just for, um, that's just potentially for the, uh, what you call it? That's for like just the future. Like OTWs right now are pretty low. So if you guys are considering uh, wanting an OTW, it's a decent time to go look into getting one because right now they're really low. The summer, the winter, whatever it may be, if you guys want uh, a player from that OTW squad, you should probably look into it pretty soon because they are very low. Um, and it's going to be a, they're going to start to go up, right? After this weekend, the SBC ends. And once the watch players always go up out of pack. So I'm just kind of giving you guys that warning. If you want one, you should get one pretty soon because they do go up out of packs pretty damn nicely. Um, and so you could expect them to uh, very soon. So that's what I've been doing, man. I've, I've kind of started to stack a few of them, not a ton, but Started to get a few of them on the club. As you guys can see, my watch list just has some OTWs. Uh, there's some games out right now. I just picked up a Cavani at 162, uh, and he's been selling over 180 for a while. There's a lot of panic this morning, man. I don't know what's going on with the market, but there's a lot of panic. Um, a lot of people, it's just, ah, man, it's like kind of dead today. I mean, it's it's it, it was kind of like this last night, and I'm wondering, and I think, well, I'm not wondering. I'm pretty sure that this promo, guys, um, is, is making people kind of just get off FIFA for a little bit. I think it's kind of like, wow, this is really like crappy from EA, and it's just sucky, right? Because we have all these new cards. No one can afford these cards. Um, I only, I bought one of the new cards, guys. If you guys were wondering, I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, I just bought a Nistelroy at 1.9 flat. His SPC is 1.9, uh, like 1.85. So I feel like that can't really go lower and maybe I'll try him out in foot champions. I don't even know, dude, but we bought one at that price and it seems pretty good value. So I went for it. I've also been stuck with this Cannavaro that I bought at 185 and like he doesn't sell ever. He sells at 18 and then he just goes up. I, it's so confusing. So I may just keep him. Although I played a game yesterday, guys. Oh, I played a game yesterday. Oh, boy. Like, boys, I played a game yesterday, and god damn, bro, I don't want to play already. Like, it's sad. And I'm, I'm, you guys know, man, I'm trying to be positive. But, man, dude, it's like, it's so sad, bro, the state of this gameplay, dude. I played a game, and I don't want to play again for another week. I played one game, and I won the game. That's the thing, too, that that's the funniest part about it, dudes, is that I won the freaking game. It's like, you win games this year, and you don't want to play. It's crazy, man. Um... But anyways, uh, to more relevant stuff that you guys are probably asking slash wondering about, um, these icon moments are so expensive. I haven't even seen a Hullet all night. I have not seen a Hullet on PlayStation. Uh, Kraif is now on the market, so Kraif is, well, he's got a bid. He's actually at 5 mil, which is it. Whoa, okay. He's got a bid at 5 mil. Um, all the new ones, though, like, the beat, like all these new ones, guys, are all uh, not affordable. You can't afford any of these new ones. Um, none of them are affordable. The only one I've seen out of the new ones that is actually getting bought right now is Paul Scolzi. And people are buying him at about like 2 million. That's kind of where he's been in terms of price. Um, even Yashin, dude. Even this new Yashin, boys. Even this new boy Yashin has been selling at 2 million religiously. Oh, 1.8. All right, fair play. He's coming down a little bit. People are paying 1.8 for a goalkeeper. I saw Zanetti. Oh, he's on the market. Zanetti, 3 mil. That's probably going to sell really quickly, right? I think at least. Do people really like this? I think people really like this position change card. Um, so that's probably going to insta sell. It's been insta selling. And then I saw a 98 Maradona on stream yesterday, but I didn't buy it because it was seven and a half. It's seven and a half mil. Like, I'm not buying that for seven and a half mil. So I don't know what to tell you guys, man. This promo I talked about in the Market Watch video yesterday. A lot of you guys liked the trading yesterday, which was cool. Thank you guys for supporting that. But, dude, like, you can't even afford any of these cards. Like, I, this promo is so dumb, man. Like, this is the content that they're giving and like bro i if 
I don't even know who can afford these cards, boys, because I am like, I can't even afford these cards. And I am, I'm not even flexing. I'm kind of flexing right now, but I'm 27th on the transfer profit leaderboards. I can't even afford more than like two of these cards. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Like, I don't even know who can afford these. That's the thing. You can't afford all of them. It's, bro, it's getting out of control, man. So, I mean, that's the state of what's going on right now with this promo. Uh, we're going to get more upgrades tomorrow. Yesterday, we got La Liga. We're going to get rest of the world upgrades, I assume, tomorrow. Um, today, we're probably going to get a flashback. I know you guys have been asking, hey, Nick, what do you think we're going to get today? I think a flashback is uh, is going to come today. I'm pretty sure, at least. I'm not positive, but if I were to put a bet on something, I would say today's going to be a flashback. Um, if it's something that's relative, or sorry, not relative, relevant, I will bring you guys a video. Something I wanted to talk to you guys about today that can make you a lot of coins. I know you guys are coin hungry. We want to make coins. Um, today after lightning rounds is going to be a really good time to club stock with high rated golds. They're going to, they went really low yesterday. They recovered a bit. In my opinion, they're going to drop even more today. That's going to be a really, really good pickup. All these high rated golds should rebound really nicely when we get an SBC that people want to go and do. Nobody's going to do Van Nistelrooy for 1.6. I understand people buying Van Nistelrooy off the market for the 1.6, but nobody wants to do Van Nistelrooy for that price. So I don't think that any of this stuff is going to be up for... So I think we're going to get another icon either Sunday or Monday, SBC-wise. Um, and I think that you have a good opportunity today, assuming EA does run lightning rounds, which I can't imagine they're not going to run lightning rounds. Like, they're going to run lightning rounds. This is EA Sports. Um, so these should rebound, theoretically, um, very soon. Now, there's a one problem today, and I'm wondering if EA might like artificially try to rise the prices of these golds by bringing out a flashback today. That's the only thing that worries me just a bit right now. Um, that they could do something like that. Um, we'll have to see with that. I think they may, but I think we're. I think you guys are pretty safe, man. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna be pretty safe with these cards. But this is something that I want you guys to make an investment with uh, later today into tomorrow. Stock your clubs. You don't have to go on your trade pile and go crazy buying these cards. All I'm asking is that you guys just stock your club. Like just have a club stock, and that's what I always do. Um, hopefully the flashback today, whatever it is. I think it, people were saying like they think it might be a Durovin. Um, hopefully it's like nothing that's like very, I'm just hoping that today's flashback isn't something that like comes out as like an 87 rated squad and is a card that everybody wants because that's going to really hinder the rise or the potential for you guys to go in and do any of that, um, is what I'm thinking. Um, mana losses, special cards are going to rebound when this SPC ends. You guys already know that. Um, I don't think Falcao's got any special cards. They're going to bring his special cards in the market down right now. You guys, this SBC goes until Monday. Um, after Monday, you guys could expect most of the ones to watch us to start going up because, well, one, I don't even think the winter ones to watch us are in packs anymore. So those are pretty no risk. If you guys want to go in on a no risk investment, um, the winter ones to watch us is pretty a pretty damn safe investment in my eyes, at least. I think that's a pretty uh, a pretty good look for you guys, man. That's like something that I would say is like very low risk. Um, and if you want, if you guys want to go a little bit of a high risk situation. Uh, the summer wants to watch is a pretty decent look. Those some of those cards are pretty good, and when they uh, people will start to remember how good they are, and they will start to go back up very quickly. Um, in my eyes, I think I like the summer ones watches a lot right now. Um, I did a club stock with basically all of them. Um, I tried to buy a good amount of them, so that's why my coin total is a little bit lower than it was the other day. Um, I went through and I bought a lot of them. We we bought a lot. That's for sure. Um, I've been trading with a lot of these informs, man, that are like a little bit lower budget, and it's really fun. It's like really good coins, and it's really fun. Like you get big undercuts, and the tax is not that much. So I've actually been really enjoying trading with those cards, man. They are a bunch of fun, guys. They're really, really, really fun to trade with. So those I've been really enjoying. Um, and then, yeah. Other than that, I, I'm a little confused why we didn't get man of the matches last night. I thought we were going to get man of the matches. We didn't get man of the matches. Um, that was very interesting. I think... It, to, to those that actually care about the Prime Icon moments, like to those that actually give an F about them, in terms of what they're going to do in price, I that sold, man. Damn, bro. I was going to buy that, but I don't think they, they haven't updated any of the price ranges. So I'm going to be pissed if I should have bought that and that gets upped in range. I just can't. Hey, guys, am I crazy? Does that just seem out of this world, that price? I'm not crazy, right? That much for Zanetti is nuts to me. I can't pay that much for Zanetti, boys. It's too much. I know, I know, I know, I know he's very in demand. I, I see it, boys, but I'm not that crazy. I can't pay three mil for a position change than Eddie. I just can't do it, man. I can't, man. That's crazy, boys. That's that's too much. Like, I'm not I'm not insane to think that, right, guys? Please tell me I'm not crazy. 
I hope you guys tell me I'm not crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm not going to do much analysis, guys, with the prime icons, those those ones, because I really can't. Um, I really can't do much analysis because there's not anything to analyze, right? They're just simply insanely overpriced, and I just am not even interested in them. I can't even make a market video because I know none of you guys watching or even myself. Like, what is the point, man? Like, I can trade with one or two of them, guys, but I can't trade with all of them. So there's not much of a point for anybody watching this video today to get a digest about them. Like, it's not like you're it's not like you're missing out on anything. Um, yeah, so other than that, guys, I mean, I think that's probably the market watch video for today. Um, I may do a video later today with some more live trading. Oh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. So the lives got updated. I wanted to talk about this with you guys. Oh, 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 come on. Guys, the lives got updated. The UCL lives all got updates yesterday. Uh, that No, no, this is my shady squad. Well, these were the ones that were looking good to get updates. Benzema is actually like, I was talking about it last night in DMs. Benzema is actually looking now like he might um, he might be usable, dude. It's crazy. If, if Madrid do really well, bro, this card is actually nuts. Um, in like... If he gets up to like a night, he's going to be usable. He's four star weak foot, right? Yeah, bro. This card, I'm telling you guys, man, if Madrid keep winning, this card's going to start getting insane. Um, we did see some price shifts yesterday, guys, with the update of the uh, of the stats. Nothing crazy went up last night. I was watching it. But this morning, it looks like the market has positively rebounded to these upgrades. Um, they've gone up. I've, I've looked on the market. These cards have all risen. Um, the ones getting upgrades. Specifically, one card that I saw that got an insane upgrade is Sterling. Oh my gosh. Look at Sterling's upgrade, guys. He's gone. He's now the same as the POTM, but look at this card, man. I, I almost got one for 465. 96 pace, 84 shooting, and he's got 87 finishing. So this card definitely got a lot better. Um, and I wow, that guy's played 500 games with him. So that card is one that is Sterling's gonna be nuts if City if City win out. Will City win this round? He's gonna be a 91, 97. This card's gonna be like very similar probably to Mbappe, just doesn't have the four-star weak foot, but it's going to be a really good card. So I'm looking forward to that. A lot of these cards got big boy upgrades. Um, it's it's just interesting. Like you see bubbles on some of them, like Perisic dropped with his upgrade because he was 300. Nobody wanted to pay 300, but it's a really good looking card. Perisic with one more upgrade is going to be wild. Like I'm very excited for Perisic. I'm, I'm very much rooting for Inter and Europa League because of Perisic and how good he's going to look uh, with another upgrade. Guys, thank you for tuning into the video today. I appreciate everybody supporting. Um, the channel i know fifa right now is tough because of that new promo that's out and it's just feels like a money grab but i love you guys thank you for watching the video i'll see you guys video soon peace out